hello and welcome to the bk arts channel so today i'm going to take you to a tour around one of the most prestigious monument in kenya african heritage house as it looks uh, it's a very beautifully built house it was founded by alan donovan and uh, joseph morumbi it contains plenty of african art collections which uh, represents different cultures and values from different communities in Africa. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome back. So this is just the exterior view of the African Heritage House. Um, it's a hotel and also it's also a, a guest house uh, for tourist attraction and all that. It contains uh, plenty of African artifacts, I mean the collection of African art uh, which have different meanings and cultures that represent different uh, values in the different communities in Africa. So they were collected by Joseph Morumbi and Anand Donovald, which made a great impact uh, in terms of uh, appreciating the African culture. So in a building, since it is inspired by a traditional Pan-African architecture, uh, this imaginative art field with the guest house is about uh, 15 kilometers from the Nairobi National Park. 14 kilometers from the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and 24 kilometers from the National Museums of Kenya. So as you enjoy this uh, spectacular view of the African Heritage House, I hope uh, you may find time to visit here. So it's a very beautiful place of uh, Art, African art collection from different communities representing different values, cultures, uh, human virtues. Yeah. So you see the exterior view. So you see the exterior view and then we go to the first floor. This is the first floor of the living room veranda where we have chairs made from uh, African plants that have been crafted and woven to create very beautiful uh, chairs, the tables. Yeah, this is a nice place to maybe you can cool down talk relax yeah and uh, besides we have also carved stones from community which, which represents uh, the music uh, the, the music culture uh, you have the ceramic ceramics holding flowers and uh, the outside as this is the first, first floor as you enter you may not even want to leave or you just want to go here and check what is in there, in this African Heritage House. Yeah, the beautiful crafted. This is the veranda part. Yeah. So as you are going in, 
towards uh, the rest of uh, what is inside yeah and as we go inside yeah we found out uh, this is a room uh, that is containing uh, Yeah, this is uh, just the entry reception of uh, this African heritage house. Yeah, as you can see around, we have the crafted metals, the woods, yeah, which have been furnished. Also the floors, yeah, the, the floors have been made by some rocks from a, from a Kenyan region here. Yeah. They are not definitely concrete, they are just uh, rocks that have been furnished well. Yeah, you can look at the chairs, they yeah, have been made well. And also at the front here, there you can see uh, is a fireplace, and above the fireplace we have uh, a poster of the King of Benin, of the ancient city-state is the present date in Nigeria. He adorned with the ceremonial daggers from Benin uh, which left uh, on the left side we can see on this other hand we can see it's a clay vessel by the Kenyan's most famous artist Magdalene Odundo who is a famous ceramic artists makes very good one it's now a creative arts direct a professor of creative arts in the united kingdom yeah so these are metal metals carved carved well yeah they have they are the different essence in the african culture yeah The cupboards has different ornaments. Yeah, it were made by the African, the people of the African culture. They used to wear them to represent different values: the ceramics, the ornaments, the jewelry. Yeah. Even the bed, the furniture, they have all been crafted purely African. These are all materials, raw materials from Africa. The rocks, the woods, the metals, yeah, the soil. I mean, just everything is just incredible of how creative Africans, how the creative uh, ability of Africans. And all that, the animal fur, the plants, yeah. Also, the mats have been made by wool from animals from Africa. Yeah. I think this is the reception area. As you can enjoy, you see the weather is hot. Yeah, above there you can see the Nairobi National Park. It's over there. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, that's the Nairobi National Park. Yeah, they're just neighbors. Yeah, out here we have a plain area of relaxing. You have tables, glasses. Then we have the chairs which have been made by metals. Yeah, when mind the regions of Africa and also the flow. Yeah. So this is the first floor of the living room. It's just a veranda overlooking the Nairobi National Park. Yeah.
then here we have uh, those relaxing curve a small place and a uh, little places of relaxing which have been illustrated in the like for the zebra skin yeah you see yeah so it is a best place a nice place you can relax if you have came to visit here and enjoy the weather yeah from this veranda as you go in Just the barrel the veranda overview. Then on this first floor, we go into a room where you find uh, we just at the top because we have climbed the stair as the stairway. Yeah, there's a room that has been lined up with the rare hand wooden fabrics and embroidered ceremonial ropes from Gera at the top. With the staircase you've seen uh, a Yoruba carved wooden headdress which represents the celebration of the battle of the of an ancient Yoruba king. This one are the baskets, uh, the you have the mats made from the animal skin. Yeah. So this is the first floor living room. Uh, you can see the view, the veranda, which is overlooking the Nairobi National Park. In the center, there is a double-sided coach made from an old baby crabble from Lam, an island of the coast Kenya. In front of it is uh, just a round table made from an old coffee grinder, also from Lamu. This room uh, just features the old containers and weapons from the northern Kenya. You can see the ceiling has been made from wood from Africa, but such as uh, you have the eagle like the mahogany or the bamboo. You can see that headdress over here. Yeah. Just been it was beautifully crafted. Yeah, to represent a culture from the Yoruba community. Just from West Africa. Yeah, it's also metals that have been crafted to represent certain culture. You have the framed art piece here. You have been framed by the metal and also the mat board. As well protect the artwork. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice illustration over there. Then we have also these giant calabashes. Yeah, which are used for carrying milk by the Fulani community. Learning women in West Africa. The wooden wall 
Samsung and a camel blanket from the northern Nigeria. The engraved silver panel is by the Nigerian blacksmith artist, uh, who is called the uh, artist Asiru Olatunde. Yeah, just on the back side. Yeah, you can see the sink here, the mirror. Yeah, all made from Africa. How beautiful is Africa? Have the mats, the curtains. the woolen wall hangings yeah and the also common blanket which was subsidized from the northern nigeria then we go to the bathroom very nicely crafted bathroom which is decorated with pink stone from the masai mara and the store floors from the mazeras kenya the bathtub features a hand carved lentil from an old door in Lam. There are also silk batiks from the Kenyan artist Robin Anderson. Yeah. It's just the house of uh, Alan Donovan where he used to stay. Yeah, beautifully surrounded by the African artifacts collection of african art he had this old house surrounded by the african culture artworks you know artwork is a very beautiful thing because it represents values and cultures represented by certain people which is important in the human life in general yeah When you have the outside part, uh, we can see some illustration and the pictures here illustrating the history of the original, uh, the, the African communities and also the pioneer of the African, of this Africa Heritage House, Joseph Morubi. Then inside you can see the artworks made by the African people from different communities crafted the curves the interiors yeah it represents the wildlife the environmental yeah the, this all wooden uh, wall hangings we have the shields and the weapons yeah illustrations of the wildlife That's a nice place to visit. Then on the other side also we have the crafted uh, pieces of art crafted from metals welded yeah from African communities we have such as the mainly the Tinga Tinga arts the Yoruba communities yeah these books are the history represents the history of Africa so African uh, heritage house is a showpiece of the African culture heritage that it holds invaluable collection of Africa African art which enhances and promotes African dignity and values such as diligence strength love endurance humility bravery uh, confidence unity peace happiness brilliance courage and so much more so the emotional pieces of art connects to the human part yeah
So the art pieces, the ceramics, the illustrations, the oil paintings, the jewelry, the ornaments, yeah. have different pieces representing different uh, cultures there so the african heritage house is just a showpiece of the african culture the, all the heritage that it holds in it the rocks have been carved so you should find the time to visit this place it's a very nice place so of relaxing enjoying the and the african artifacts yeah just enjoying the view learning more about how africa interacted how they valued their dignity yeah what their artwork meant to them what their artwork uh, represented yeah, you see like this uh, it's a lab representation yeah they are made from the African uh, like the natural the, the natural materials so you can see even the the grave of the old of the late Al Alan Donovan yeah he left us left us with a very good memory of him and a legacy yeah, he came in to promote the african culture and settled in kenya he such a make made such a big contribution to the african culture yeah together with joseph murungu who's the first vice president of kenya So, so far, I'm very glad that you have watched this video and uh, it's uh, such a pleasure to show you this. Yeah, it's my pleasure and I hope to visit this place at one time so that you can enjoy what good is in Africa. Yeah, what they made. So, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time in my next video. So before you leave, make sure you have subscribed. You have liked the video and subscribed to the channel. So at that point, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.